For the second question, we are going to write an equation of a line that goes through the points 6, negative 3 and 3, 2. We want our answer to be in the slope intercept 1. Whenever we are trying to write the equation of a line, we need two things. First of all, we need to know what the slope is. That's the first thing that we need to get. And then second of all, we need to pick a point. We need to have a point. Once we have these two things, we can then use the formula y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So this should be your template whenever you are trying to write an equation of a line. We need to have the slope, the point, and then plug it into that formula. So let's begin by how do we find the slope. We are given two points, so we should use the slope formula that m, you know, is a slope, which is the same as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We have two points. The first point, I'm going to label this as x1 and y1. And the second point, 3,2, I'll label that as x2, y2. So now I can just plug it into the formula to find the slope. So m is equal to y2, and my y2 is the number 2. Okay, so 2 minus my y1 is equal to negative 3. So 2 minus negative 3 for y1. Over, I have x2, which is 3. I have 3 minus my x1 is 6. Okay. And now this is the calculation that I need to do to get the slope. Let's see. On the top, I have 2 minus negative 3. It's like the same as saying 2 plus 3, which will get 5, positive 5. And on the bottom, we have 3 minus 6, we will get negative 3. So that's the slope that we are going to use. Slope will be m is equal to negative 5 over 3. Let me write this, negative 5 over 3. So let me make a remark that it doesn't matter where I put a negative. I can put a negative on the top, in the front, or in the bottom. So the fraction itself is negative. negative. And the second remark was that um, it, doesn't mat it, doesn't mat it doesn't matter how I label the points. It's just that I see the first point, I label that as x1 and y1. And the second point that I see is, well, x2 come on y2. You could have do it the opposite way. You will come up with, you will come up with the same answer. Then the second thing I need is the point. And we have two points. It doesn't matter which point that you use, you will um, be the same at the end. And I want to be consistent with my labeling. I'll just use the first one as my, um, my point. So I will pick um, 6, comma, negative 3. That will be my x1, and that will be my y1. And you see that we have the slope and the point. We can then use this equation, this formula, to help us um, you know, finish this question. So we have this formula right here. The y1, the m, and the x1 are the numbers that we get from there. The x and the y stays the same. We just need to draw in those numbers into here and work it out. Isolate the y at the end. That would be it. So let's see. I have y minus y1 is negative 3. So I'll put this negative 3 right here. Use the parentheses. That's equal to m is negative 5 over 3. So that will be just negative 5 over 3 right here, times, open the parentheses, the x is just x, minus, but the x1, it's a 6 that you have to plug in. So x minus 6, like that. So to finish the rest, I just need to do my best to isolate the y. That's it. I see that this is just like saying y plus 3, minus a negative 3. So it's y plus 3. Equals to, I see I have a parenthesis, 
and this fraction in front of the parentheses, I need to distribute the negative 5 thirds inside. I will first get negative 5 thirds x, and I will second get negative 5 thirds times negative 6. So let's do the calculations right here. Um, negative 5 thirds times negative 6. So to do that, this is like negative 6 over 1. Okay? And I can simplify these fractions. This is 1, this is 2, and we have negative 5 times negative 2. So that will turn out to be a positive 10 like that. Okay? And then I just need to isolate the y. I can minus 3 on both sides. And finally, I will get my answer. This is y equals to negative 5 over 3x. 10 minus 3 is equal to 7, positive 7. And that's it. This is the equation of a line in the slope-intercept form. And that's it.